Hello, my name is Chien and welcome back to the MySQL Server Learning Course and today in the day 4 I would like to talk about how to use another tool to work with MySQL Server ok so it is of using the MyPHP admin on the web page to work with MySQL Server so we have a lot of another uh, another tool we will have strongly support for MySQL Server uh, for example, when you are working with the SQL Server, I mean Microsoft SQL Server, you have the uh, Microsoft SQL Server uh, Management Studio tool. So for now, in this video, I would like to talk about um, Navigate tool. That one is a very strong uh, and powerful tool when you are working with my SQL Server. Okay, open the fully open the website you access to the navigate.com and go to the product to see the product of navigate we have premium version so it will contain all of the feature to which support to you work with the my sequel server maria tv sequel server sequel line or core blah blah here yeah. and for now because for now we are working with the MySQL server so I go ahead to download the navigate for my sequence server only this one is a uh, this one is not free tool so we have to pay the money to get the so the latest, latest version and I mean get the license but it have it have an option for free trial. Uh, if I remember exactly, it's, it's, uh, it have free for 14 days to, to to free trial before you decide to pay the money to get a license from Navigate for my sequence server. Okay, so let's go ahead to click on the free free trial button here. To after that, it will direct you to the download website. Yeah, we have 14 days for fully function free trial of Navicast. Scroll out, you can see here we have a lot of, of a, a setup file for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Uh, I'm using the Windows, so I should download the Windows version for Navicast. The Windows with the for a 64 bit, I download it. Give it so when you're working with the navigate tool so the UI will look better and it will be easier for you than working with the PSP my admin on the web browser okay go ahead to click on this to install the navigate on the pc and the current version is navigate 12 finish button and the, the, the installation step is very very quickly you now on the laptop we have a Navicast 12 for my my SQL Server. Click on double click on it to open the software. Uh, when the when the software you put open, it will display the registration dialog. We have two options. The first one is trial. The second one is registration. And the expiration date is uh, only. 14 day for trial version and uh, for now I don't have license yet so I click on the trial button to to, to accept the tune yeah hello okay mm, we have that here 
you can see here we have the the, the uh, this one is the dashboard of Navicast for my sequence server and on the top we have some menu okay so we'll delete this one this one is the O1 that's were created on my PC okay so under the menu we have some some quick 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 action here you click on the connection my sequence server you yeah. you click on the correction name I you can enter any name for this correction so if you name it is my sequence connection enter the password for root account click on the test connection here for testing the connection yes you see the connection successfully successful here that means you are able, able to connect into the my sequence server database and you left it by default for another tab here click on ok button to get the access okay now you double click on my sequence server connection to execute the uh, the, perform, the, 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 the action to access the my sequence server database yeah you can see here we have a little uh, database in the system okay so we open the web browser and access to my php admin to see yes it should be the same thing here information schema learns my sequence db my sequence db performance scheme system okay it should be the same the same thing you you want to set into learn my sequence db you double click on it yeah and after that you can see we have a little table view function event query report backup here yes it will look much better than you are working on the web browser yes of course because the, or the web browser that is a free license you you no need to pay any money to have it otherwise with this navigate tool you have to pay the money to to use the full full feature of this tool yeah so that's why it will be it will be uh, powerful and easier to uh, it uh, easier than PHP my admin for using okay so click on the table you can see here we have two table double click on category table to view the data the same thing for product click double click on this here I will close it uh, under the uh, beside the connection we have a new query here you click on this if you want to write the skip script for uh, uh, for the purpose yes you click on the my sequence server connection this one the first one is connection the last the second one is database name okay so now i see query builder here yes very strong beautiful sequence server okay so now i will I will try to try some script here. I will select the data from the category table. Category. I after that click on the run button here to execute the query. Yes, you can see here we have the list of data written from the table. The message is okay. Profile is here lot of things so I think just, just take a look into the result and that's it if you have any issue with the query let's do the same thing with product table yes for now here we have two 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 query here if you click on the run button and it will execute bot of query uh, uh, basically the 
uh, this tune it will look like the same still uh, my uh, it will look like the same um, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool. If you have a lot of query on uh, uh, on the page, so it will, when you execute the run, it will uh, it will uh, execute the query one by one from the top to bottom. Yes, so that means for here we have two query, so that means where we have two result. The first result return the data from the category table. The second return from the product. If you want to run only one query, so you should select it first and run the selected query. Yes, return only one. Okay. I will talk about more detail with another feature on this tune in another video. And okay, so today I think after you finish this video, you know how to use the UI tune. Uh, we have a lot of the tune, but for now, I suggest you to use the Navicast to work with the MySQL server on on the on the desktop. It is of using the my PSP admin on the web browser. Uh, this this tune is powerful and very strong. And it's a fully support for you. Look like the same SQL Server Management Studio tool. If you are, work, you are on, already working with the SQL Server for before. Okay, so I hope that helps. And feel free to let me know if you have any question. Bye bye, and see you later.